so the, the satisfaction is something uh, if the consumer get whatever they want but if they see actually any benefits in that particular aspects what they look from that particular products for example take an example of a phone the consumer has bought the phone for a specific purpose or a camera or like they want to use it for multiple purposes or multitasking and uh, the processor of the particular phone supported it and it, it helps them and also actually the battery backup it gives you a long battery backup and they don't have to recharge and they don't have to look for some power backups so in that way they see the value in that so the, whatever actually the futures that they are, they are expecting and if they get that so we call it as a value so in that way you see when the company is selling some products or services they say that uh, we are offering this uh, we call it as a unique value proposition xyz say example that company is selling that we have a high speed processor we have an excellent camera we have many apps uh, inbuilt apps which helps them to use the multiple tasking for a different uh, uses like people use phones for a different purposes we all like uh, for a personal use then professional use and other one is a social use so if that particular aspect has been you know like offered and that the consumers actually they could see the benefit in that so that is where it is become a value so the usp unique selling proposition is taking a you know like uh, the shape into unique value proposition that means the offerings of the company which is matching the expectations of consumer we call it as unique value proposition so that is where the consumer actually you know like uh, just graduating from satisfaction to the happiness because when they are using that particular product you know like day in day out and they are getting the value every day we call it as a happiness so the consumer actually from satisfaction to happiness so that is where they become a brand ambassadors of the particular or something they just they're trying to tell their you know, friends and you know, like motivate them to buy the product because they are getting the benefit because they want uh, their peer group also to get the benefit at the same time when we are talking about the customer delight so the delight is something which is a next level of when the, the customer gets any you know, surprise offers from the company say example when when you are going to a restaurant regular restaurant for you know, like you are uh, eating out uh, with your family and uh, one day actually after you finish eating when you ask for a check uh, the manager says sir it's on us so you will be really surprised right? so we might all actually you know like spend like people on that but the kind of surprise and delight they created in your company that is actually you know like invaluable so and you definitely you talk about this uh, among your friends relatives peer groups so you, you see that uh, when the particular restaurant actually you know if they delight like five six customers on a particular day and they would have spent like 10 15000 rupees but the kind of actually the the word of mouth and the kind of uh, the uplifting of your brand image which is very high so that is where you know like uh, and those tens you know like six seven customers they will go and talk about uh, friends and relatives and there is no actually end to it because there is it's a kind of uh, you know like cluster where there is no you know like uh, the formal way they you know like communicate this message and it's so informal and it reaches you know like many people and in this say example like reaches like 100 100 200 people and in this 300 people in that 100 people you know like just going to reserve to try uh, and they, they spend like 1000 rupees so it's like uh, like 2 lakh rupees of you know revenue the 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 company gets the restaurant gets and moreover they also actually you know like tell that manager that we we heard actually this kind of thing and in this 100 like maybe another 20 got that surprise you know offers i am just giving you an only example of you know like price most kind of thing and there are many ways actually you can delight the customers and that lead to another you know like 100 to 1000 2000 so kind of a revenue generate actually just giving you know like kind of delighting your customer with one one incident of giving free meal for a day uh, and uh, you you actually save a lot of money on this brand image you know so you would be spending a lot of money on this advertisement so this is this is what we call the customer delight so the company is having a many ways of actually delighting the customer suppose if i am buying something some product and when i receive it actually i got some random products as a surprise 
the product which i was you know browsing for many days actually because i i did not buy it but the amazon knows that actually i am looking to buy the product because amazon actually give me the product maybe for like 1000 rupees for the product for free so kind of a delight i get and definitely you know it will increase my trust and also my loyalty towards the company so likewise you know uh, the customer delight is a something which is very important actually when the company is trying to delight the customers that brings a lot of value to them and the stc is something that actually highest level of happiness and highest level of delight when the company is continuously delighting the customers a single customer or a group of customers that is what we call the customer stc which lead to the customer is becoming a you know evangelist uh, the evangelist is the highest actually the stage uh, the statue that a customer achieve uh, you know they support the customer a particular company and they become a fan of the company and they become a brand ambassador so those kind of uh, thing so when you talk about that simple thing of delighting the customers you know how actually it benefits the company brings more value terms of uh, you know like revenues and profits and growth where you can control your expenses on all this you know, like advertisements and all those things so the best way actually to you know uh, to grow your company is to satisfy your customers and make them happy and uh, also you need to delight them and make the customer reach the stage of uh, stress which is very important. thank you